Hi Sagittarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot with your love reading for January 2017. Happy New Year everyone. Um, please do visit my website moonpietarot.com for two special readings that I have running 2018 Year Ahead for Love and the How the Other Person Feels About You reading. If you're interested, there are also other readings there. Some of these messages may or may not resonate with you, so you can always request more clarity through a personal reading. Or you can just watch your other signs, uh, you, your other planets, to see if you can put anything together. So um, if you would like to follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, I upload weekly general readings. Just go to at Moon Pie Tarot. Or you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. You can call me on the app from 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time for your instant readings. Or you can chat or text me to get quick answers. Okay? So, Sag, I'm using the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. Okay? Just wanted to point that out to you. For the overall energy for this month, for January, you have the Nine of Swords. So, I feel like you, you have probably some stuff going to uh, going on or could start happening for you during this time period where you may have to think about a situation that you need to deal with um the nine of wands is sometimes it's about someone who you know he or she has been to war they've been to battle they've been dealing with the situation now they're taking a break and trying to figure out their next move um, but I feel like it's going to be a situation, um, whatever you decide, whichever direction, you know, if you head back out there to deal with something, you'll be victorious. And this will have uh, the element of a wish coming true for you. Okay. So your past position is the chariot. Some of you may have taken a trip in the past. You may have relocated or moved or someone may have come to see you or you may have gone to see them. There was a decision to be made between good or evil and a decision about what path to take. And I feel like you actually made your decision and you went forward. Now, the center of your reading, the present, is temperance. So this is you, Sag, and this is you having this element of harmony and balance. So this is what you may by the time you're getting this reading you may already be experiencing this or starting to feel this in the beginning of uh january but it's crossed by the heart font so some of you may have a situation coming up where it's a decision to move forward with marriage or decision to move forward with a commitment or someone is making that decision for you <laughs> not for you but uh bringing that to the table for you uh it could be a little bit delayed but it's it's what's crossing you. So it's something that, that may be coming forward for you. It could be an obstacle for some. That's not what you're looking for. Um, but I feel it's more or less you trying to find balance in a situation or with another person about which direction. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for marriage? Are you ready for a commitment? Have you just been dating? Or if you're already married is the, or in the relationship, is it balanced? Because I feel like it's going to reach this place where there will be harmony between you and another person. And I feel like that's the direction you chose to go and that's where you're winding up now. Now, what's driving you? You have this king of wands. So you could have someone in your life who is a fire sign. Or you have two people in your life. <laughs> the king of wands and the king of swords. Okay. What does that mean for you guys? Please leave me comments and let me know. You may have had a decision between two people. And you're trying to balance out. Who do you want to be with? That could be the, that could be what's coming up. See how when you look at these horses, you see one dark horse, one light horse. This is a, this is a balance of, you know, positive and negative energy and you some of you may have been dating two people if you're single and trying and they're both significant so you've got two people here then you have temperance which is about balancing 
two, th two things. Then you have the chariot, which is two horses. So I feel like for a lot of you, there is, uh, <laughs> there is maybe a choice to be made or a decision, um, possibly about which one is better suited for you. And I feel like um, what's on your mind is it could be the sword, sword energy. The, so that would be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. As someone that might communicate with you a lot or is communicate, you're having a lot of communication with this person and you're just trying to figure and it, it, I, so I do feel like a, a situation kind of does stress you out because you're not really sure who to pick I feel like some of you may be talking more with the the air sign and they're the ones that are on your mind more but there's an also an energy of in your mind you want to you know move forward you want to you want to charge the the Knight of Swords definitely has that charging energy. So that could also be uh, that sword person that could be coming after you. This is someone who could be aggressive, uh, but charismatic and truthful. Right? So you may have a couple of suitors who are coming after you, <laughs> you know, or, um, you know, you already know these people. Or you have, for a small per percentage of you, there could be, have been a relationship, an extramarital affair. Um, or if it wasn't actually happening, it could have just been two people are, you know, your partner. And then the other person could be um, uh, your partner that you care very much for. And then there could be someone else who's, showing up in the picture and maybe maybe your partner is the fire sign and the other person who's charging in your direction is the king of swords and and putting a challenge to your commitment your relationship or your marriage and you're trying to to keep things on an even keel keep things balanced but the three of swords is here in the near future so there's going to be an end to something um that i do see I just want to clarify it can give me a little more clarity on what could be coming to an end an end to communications with someone hmm. this could be someone that is a work is a colleague or someone that you work with or someone someone another person works with okay um, but it's also taking stock of the situation or the relationship and looking over it clearly and deciding if you want to end one thing and move forward with someone else or vice versa. Now, you should know that I'm not seeing... Um, I'm not necessarily seeing third party affairs, so I don't feel like someone's actually cheating. I just kind of get the feeling that maybe someone is involved with another person and there's a second person either coming in or trying to get involved in the relationship. I'm not seeing, you know, like, not seeing anything that's telling me that there's there is something to do with three people though with the three of swords and taking stock of that situation and ending communication with one of them and the five of swords here is someone you know there's there's a feeling of maybe betrayal and ending ending a relationship or, or ending communication with someone because of uh, finding out about a betrayal and Sagittarius this could be you you could be the one who is in a double situation and and ending something with another person to save a relationship or 
your partner finds out that that energy is playing out them maybe taking a look at the marriage maybe the marriage is on the rocks or the relationship is on the rocks and them taking a look at it and saying I'm walking away I don't like to be mistreated so that could be happening as well or you walking away from someone who's been doing this to you so the position of you you have the page of pentacles and it's clarified by the wheel of fortune so you know you're placing high value on yourself right now and on your worth and i think that's wonderful for whatever reason whatever whatever reason it is that you need to do that i see you doing that um and staying focused on reaching your goals But your advice is that it's time to move. It's time to act. I feel like for some of you, someone from your past came back, came into your life, and that for some of you had a decision to make. But, you know, this is a very, the, the advice for you is to keep the wheels turning. It's in your favor to do the right thing. You have someone in your life who who's external to you that wants to hold on to a relationship or a family and they're willing to risk whatever it takes to keep maintaining that and if you feel like you've been involved with someone for a long time and they haven't been treating you well and hence that's why there's a hole for someone else to enter i feel like this person, perhaps if you decide to walk away from them, the thing is they don't want you to walk away. They don't want you to end something because either they see a future with you or there is a future already happening. And they are willing to, if it means jump off a bridge for you in order to keep you, they will. They want to. They want you to choose them. I feel like I feel like the King of Swords for some of you could be a bit too aggressive for you and could be wreaking havoc in your relationship or in your marriage or if this is someone who's trying to make the moves and causing instability in your relationship. I feel like that's the person that you're going to, you know, walk away because I feel like that person just jumps in and just slashes you you know with words or whatever or just tries to destroy they're not careful about what they say you know they're not careful about what they do they are mostly their words they communicate and they're not nice and i feel like this king of wands energy is so much more reserved and powerful than the king of swords the king of swords can be very um <clears throat> how do I want to say like he's he's not manipulative but he says things with purpose he speaks with purpose and he's not tactful and I don't know why if this is not someone that you're having in, in, in like a triangle with this person could be trying to come in to destroy something for you for some reason maybe for their own gain and I feel like this king of wands is the one that is willing to take a risk to hold on to you right so your hopes and fears you have justice and then you have the queen of swords so the justice card is there may be some type of a legal situation or something that comes across as being right and true and honest and you're hoping for truth as well but you're fearing you fear that you might not be able to handle it but with the queen of swords here you some of you might be fearing that this queen of swords might have information about something or someone or might open her mouth and say something 
I feel like the Queen of Swords is attached to this King of Swords. That there could be some type of husband, wife, or girlfriend, boyfriend situation here. But you're hoping for truth. I see that. You, you want honesty. You want truth. I just want to clarify this King of Swords and why he's charging in. It's not acceptable to him. <laughs> Something is not acceptable to him. The position that you're in in your life right now. With another person. He's not accepting. I mean, he's accepting the fact that something ended, but he's still going to put his digs in or try to disrupt something in your life. If if you've if you've gotten out of a relationship in the past and moved away and got gotten involved with someone else, um, or you're you've been single and then someone else came along i feel like this king of swords is just following you around and he's just wreaking havoc in your life for some reason he's just not being nice I guess he might have been a little jealous or thought you had too many temptations and you chose someone else over him and he might be a little egotistical and not happy that you did that. He feels that maybe you left because you had other options. And so he's trying to hold on and just disrupt your your situation. But I don't, even if you're not married, even if you're just single or you're dating someone, you know, this person is just trying to disrupt your life. You know, look at the Five of Swords. He just comes in and he puts those two knives or swords in her back and then he walks away. I feel like he wants to hurt you. Not physically. This is sword energy. This is um, maybe verbally verbal abuse he's looked he'll come back in the future and probably you know say to you I've put all this energy and I've invested so much in us in the past and you just left or you just walk away <coughs> I feel like he's here I keep saying he but it could be either gender I feel like this other person is very hurt not really they're there's they're just hurt with the five of cups all they're focused on is the negativity so your outcome position is the knight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles so the knight of pentacles energy is this slow moving knight and i feel like that's your energy where you're just going to keep trotting along doing whatever it is you are just d despite despite a relationship that you're in despite anything that you're going through in your life or despite anything that is happening with another person or whichever you maintain your sense of independence throughout all of this I don't, I, you have your hand on the tiger here, so you are well protected, and you are not going to let anyone destroy anything for you. Yep, so with the Nine of Swords, again, as I was saying, a stressful, stressful situation, causing anxiety and difficulty sleeping, and then the nine of wands, instead of suffering, which you won't, you take your nine of wands energy and you sit back and you plot your next move. How to be victorious, how to win in this situation, and then getting what you want, whatever it may be. I don't feel like you are, here you go, the seven of wands fighting back. Um, I don't feel like you're going to 
be the one who's going to drop down and say, oh, um, whatever you say, I'll do. You don't have that energy at all, right? So maybe just watch out for this, um, this air energy that could be coming in and trying to disrupt things with you. And, and you know, if you're, I feel, I, I, I feel, so I just want to say, okay, either way, it's two people, whether it's air or fire, you'll know by the message that I'm giving you, uh, who it is. You could be dealing with a Pisces for all I know, but you know, this is the energy of these people and the King of Wands, I feel warmth from, I don't feel warmth from the King of Swords, not for you. And if you're a male listening to this, you could be uh, in some kind of uh, situation with a friend who's an, who could be an air sign, who can be very cold and is just trying to disrupt, you know, your balance, your, your balance and your, your home life or, or your, your traditional way of living. There could be someone who's trying to disrupt this maybe because you've left if you're in if you're a homosexual male uh you you've left maybe a situation and now you're having to deal with either two people or this or one of these people it's always difficult when you have more than one king kings and queens uh, because then a lot of different messages come out but I would be curious to know it, where it falls for you. Um, if any of this makes sense, or if you think maybe some of it is working for you and some of it isn't, you can check, you know, your other signs as well. Um, but it's very interesting what I feel like is coming through here. Um, so I, again, like I said, like I, I don't actually see cheating. I just see someone trying to get involved or mix something up. So please do leave me comments and let me know um, if this resonates for you. And I will see you guys in February. All right, thanks. Bye.